Stalactites and stalagmites are actually salts formed when acids in rainwater react with limestone. Acids give a sour taste. Acids turn moist blue litmus paper red. The pH values of acids are less than seven. Acid can conduct electricity, and acid can react with metal and metal carbonate. What happens when acid reacts with metal or metal carbonate? Let's carry out an activity to study the chemical properties of acids. Let's take a look at the reaction of hydrochloric acid with magnesium. Pour five cubic centimeter of hydrochloric acid into a test tube. Then add a piece of magnesium ribbon into the hydrochloric acid. What do you observe once magnesium ribbon is added into the test tube? What happened to the magnesium ribbon? Bubbles of colorless gas are produced. Let's test the gas with a burning splinter. Record your observation in the observation table. We can see that effervescence occurs when hydrochloric acid reacts with magnesium. Magnesium dissolves in the acid, and gas is produced. The colorless gas gives a pop sound when tested with lighted splinter. Indicates that hydrogen is produced. The reaction between hydrochloric acid and magnesium produces magnesium chloride, a salt and hydrogen gas. Let's find out what is going to happen when hydrochloric acid reacts with calcium carbonate. Place a few pieces of calcium carbonate into a test tube. Add five cubic centimeter of dilute hydrochloric acid into the test tube. Observe what happens. We can see that effervescence occurs once hydrochloric acid is added into the test tube. Bubbles of colorless gas produced. The lime water turns milky when the gas passes through it. This indicates that carbon dioxide gas is released. The reaction between hydrochloric acid and calcium carbonate produces calcium chloride, carbon dioxide, and water. The reaction between hydrochloric acid and sodium hydroxide produces sodium chloride and water. What are the products form when an acid is neutralized by an alkali? Let's find out. The test tube is filled with hydrochloric acid half full. Add some sodium hydroxide to the acid. Stir the solution until the sodium hydroxide pellets are dissolved, and then pour the solution into an evaporating dish. Heat the solution in the evaporating dish. Stop heating when the solution is about one third of the initial volume. Cool the solution. When sodium hydroxide is added to hydrochloric acid, a salt which is sodium chloride and water are produced. Let's investigate the reaction of alkalis with ammonium salts. Now let's conduct an experiment to see the reaction of alkalis with ammonium salts. Place ammonium sulfate in the test tube. Add some sodium hydroxide solution and warm the solution. Look, a gas is released. Do you know what gas it is? The gas is alkaline. Place the litmus paper at the mouth of the test tube. The gas liberated is ammonia, which turns moist red litmus paper blue. When an ammonium salt like ammonium sulfate is heated with an alkali like sodium hydroxide, ammonia gas, water, and salt are produced. In this lesson, you have learned when an acid reacts with metal, salt and hydrogen gas are produced. The reaction between an acid and metal carbonate produces salt, carbon dioxide, and water. When an acid reacts with bases. Salt and water are produced. The process is called neutralization. Soluble bases are alkalis. 
alkalis and bases react with acids to form salt and water. Ammonia gas is liberated when ammonium salts are warmed with alkalis.